Hello, hello, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys along with me to Yokohama. There are different clips filmed on different days. This is from the first time I went to Yokohama during my trip. I've been there many times, but I wanted to share it with you guys. Today, we decided to grab some lunch. In these clips, we're just looking for lunch, and we found a lunch set menu, which looked delicious. This place is very famous for their food, and I think this is one of the best places to have a course menu slash lunch menu. So definitely come here if you're visiting. I definitely recommend this place. But this is what I ordered, and this is what my mom ordered. We both ended up sharing and it was delicious. This is what the dessert looked like and it was so good but we were so full. So we decided to walk around a little bit and look around because I personally really love this scenery. I think it is gorgeous. If you ever end up visiting the Tokyo area, please visit Yokohama. It is one of my favorite places ever. There's so much to do in such small areas. This Chinatown in Yokohama is known for their 600 shops in only 250,000 square meter area. And there are so many to choose from and they're all delicious. They're also known for all the food stalls and cute and colorful shops. It's very, very energetic and I think it is my all-time favorite places to go. Now we are moving on to the second time coming to Yokohama during my trip in Japan and we decided to do a more touristy kind of day. So we decided to go on the red bus which is very famous in the Yokohama area. My mother, my grandma and I decided to get the 500 yen pass which is a all day pass that you can ride as many times as you need and it takes you to the most famous areas in Yokohama. And first, of course, we had to go to the Akarenga, which is two beautiful buildings with a beautiful view of the port. And look at these accessories. It's a Van Gogh one, and it was so gorgeous. I love everything about this area. I think it is super nice and soothing at night. It gets a lot more crowded. This place in the summer gets very hot, but you can see the fireworks from this area, and it is beautiful. Yokohama also has a mall called World Porters, which is also very famous. We didn't end up visiting there, but if you are in the area and you take the red bus, definitely visit there. If you don't want to take the red bus, everything is of course walkable distance, so don't even stress about getting onto the red bus, but it is definitely part of an experience. We decided to go across the street and we came into this little outdoor shopping mall and it was the cutest thing. I've actually never visited this place and it was so cute. Keeps me coming, got me weak. You could kill me. This is how I looked like walking around the whole time with a mini fan because it was so hot. We came back to Chinatown in Yokohama and we decided to get a course meal because we were with my grandma this time. The course was delicious. This place was 10 out of 10. The food was so good. Everything came out so fast and we didn't need a reservation. We ended up eating all of this food with three people and it was so, so good. If you After that meal, we decided to walk around again, of course, to explore and enjoy the scenery. Keeps me coming, got me I really wanted this, so I decided to get it. And we came to the Yokohama Gardens, and it is so gorgeous. If you ever come here and you love nature and gardens and scenery, please visit this. This is one of my favorite things that I think we did in Yokohama because it was such a nice relaxing kind of time just walking around surrounded with such beautiful flowers and just this also has a beautiful view of the skyline which I thought was super cool I can feel the breeze. 
we came in the park from the back so if you go in from the main entrance area it is very famous for like dates and just having picnics and I thought it was super cute we ended up spending quite a while here but I think it was perfect because we were super full and we wanted to walk around a little bit this is near the main entrance and is the marine tower which is the famous tower in Yokohama and I was so glad I was able to visit this Although this vlog is a bit short, I have a couple more from Japan, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Euphoric delight.